guys and welcome back to my channel. We are home. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Jess. If you guys are returning, thanks for hopping back on. I'm so excited for today's vlog. As you can see, there's a different scenery behind me because we are home. If you guys didn't see last week's vlog, you wouldn't have seen that we traveled from New York all the way to New Mexico, which should be home for a little bit. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely give me a follow there because I post a lot more on the daily and give you guys a lot more updates on what's going on. If you guys didn't know, we are a military family. We've been moving a lot in the past year. But we built this house. I gave you guys a house tour and then we moved and we haven't been here. So I'm so excited to be home. But one thing that happens all the time when we're moving is our routines get thrown off. We change time zones, we have different responsibilities in different areas and everything kind of turns and our nutrition gets kind of thrown off, our workouts get thrown off and it's okay, that's a part of moving and that's just kind of how it goes. But it's a bit of a bummer when we've been moving a lot because we finally get into the swing of things and then it has to change again. But that brings me to today's awesome video and I'll share with you guys some tips on how to get back into a routine. Now that we've moved so many times, I feel like I'm kind of a pro at it. We just started this morning and I wanna share with you guys tip number one right off the bat. And that is to set your sleep schedule. Sleep is so important and so vital and important you're getting around eight hours of sleep. So especially if you're changing time zones, that means that you need to make sure you're still going to bed at a good time where you're living and then getting up at a good time. So for us, we went to bed about 9.30 last night and we got up about 6, 6.30 this morning. So we still got our solid hours of sleep and we're getting our body into that routine off the bat. So that way we are thrown off by the different time zones that we're still having productive mornings and getting things done that we need to. I just made us some coffee and we went for a little walk. I do like to do a walk in the morning to help wake us up. That's something we want to create into this routine. Now it was a little cold, but we weren't out there that, that long. Um, but we are gonna actually head over to base very, very soon and we'll be able to get a workout in there. And if we need to get more steps in inside, that's definitely doable. But with all that being said, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It supports me a ton and subscribe to my channels because videos do come out every single Monday. Don't want you guys missing a future video. That being said, let's jump into tips on how to get back into a routine now that we're home. All right, guys, so we're about to head to base for Rodney to do some work, but also for me to do some work on my computer and then to do a workout. Fun little story for you. So when we traveled, we only traveled with one car. We traveled with my truck. Um, but when we got home, we found that Rodney's Mustang battery had died on us. And we've been trying to bring it back to life and there's still hope that it will come back to life, but it hasn't yet. So we're kind of been functioning with one car, which hasn't been that big of a deal because I don't really have a whole lot going on quite yet. I'm like applying to jobs and stuff like that. But when base is about 25 minutes away and that's where we've been working out, I don't wanna make him drive back and forth to work and then come get me to work out and then go back. So I'm just gonna tag along. <laughs> But that brings me to my next tip when getting back into a routine and that is to really, really prioritize your nutrition. Get your nutrition in line. It's gonna make you feel so much better because your food is your fuel and your body feels completely different when you treat your body good with nutrition. So with that being said, because we are gonna be going to base early this morning, hitting a workout, I'm gonna just pack us a little bit of some snacks to make sure we have something to fuel our body before our workout, and then we'll be coming home in time enough to have an actual big lunch for a post-workout. Whatever your routine may be, whether you need food before your workout, after, or so on and so forth, make sure that you're bringing food, meal prepping, anything like that. If you guys need ideas, I have tons of videos on this on quick meal ideas because one of the hardest thing for people is, is when they're out and about and they're hungry and they grab things that are not nutritious, that are processed and that our body does not like. So getting back into your routine, prioritize your nutrition, whether that be to meal prep, to bring around healthy snacks or to eat a healthy meal before you leave the house. For us, since we're fasting this morning, we're gonna bring some healthy snacks. So let's pack some snacks and then let's head to base.
guys, so we just finished our workout. Rodney hit some chest and biceps, and I hit some legs. Um, before we left, I showed you guys that we had packed some food to go over to base. Um, it's about a 25 minute drive from where we live. But we had some rice cakes and bananas as a pre-workout snack, and we decided we're gonna head home right now, so I have those protein pancakes that we'll eat at home, but there's no point in munching on them on, in the car. With all that being said, that was our second tip, was to make sure you're prioritizing your nutrition. My third tip when getting back into a good routine in accordance to your workouts is to strictly just get back into a routine. Everybody's body's gonna feel completely different when you take some time off. So just for an example, Rodney busted out some really good bench press today. <laughs> he was feeling good, high energy, felt great. Your girl over here was doing some squats and kind of felt like she was gonna pass out. So I've had a little bit of time off leg days like that and I definitely could tell I wasn't feeling fantastic. He felt good. It's just gonna depend on your body, but despite that, the best thing you can do is get back to your routine. Back in the day when I had time off, I used to think I had to absolutely kill myself, do two a days, run miles because I'd been eating more, so on and so forth. That's not gonna do your body any good. You're just gonna burn out and you're gonna feel sick. And if you don't get back into your routine and you take it too, too light, it's gonna take you a long time to adjust again. So, no matter if you've had, what we've had about like a weird week and a half off where we've kind of worked out, but not exactly, uh, now we're getting back into our routine, the best thing you can do is go back to our old habits. If you guys haven't already created a workout split or anything like that, that's gonna be super beneficial for you. Check out my video on how to create a workout split or reach out to me and I can make one for you. But within your workouts, hit your routine. You don't need to do extra. You don't have to do extra cardio if you took time off. And you don't need to go extra light either. Just get back to your normal routine. We are gonna head home now to eat some more food, fill our bodies up, and get going with the rest of our day. Hey guys, checking back in. So we've been home for a little while now. We did eat some lunch, like I said. Had some chicken, some potatoes. Potatoes! <laughs> some chicken and some potatoes and have just been doing a bunch of tasks so like I kind of mentioned we just got home so we came home to a bunch of mail um, our backyard needs to be finished our house still needs to be finished so there's contractors all kinds of stuff well one of my tasks was to call the toll people from New York because we hit some tolls when I moved there back in October my mom like registered our car and everything, but we never got charged for them. So we did come home to a bill that had occurred a bunch of late fees. And I was like, this isn't fair. There was no way for us to know that it occurred late fees. We tried to take care of it. So I just got off the phone and I was on the phone call for about two hours. You guys ever get on the phone and you're on the phone call and it's, you know, you've been on hold for a hot minute and all of a sudden the music stops playing and you're like, yeah and then it all starts playing again. That happened to me about 20 times, but we finally got it taken care of, so gotta send a letter to the people and everything to tell them our situation, but I'm grateful we got that taken care of. Now we're just getting ready to probably make some dinner here pretty quick. So with all that being said, talking about all the things we've been doing and spending much time on the phone, I wanted to share with you guys another tip on ways to get into a good routine when you come back from vacation. If you guys moved or maybe you've just kind of fallen out of your routine and you wanna get back to some healthy habits, something that really helps me is to prioritize my time by either time blocking or writing out everything I wanna do that day. And the big important part of this, something that I've changed a little bit because I used to really struggle with this, is writing out a realistic number of tasks that I can accomplish. So for instance, one of them was to call the tolls. One of them was to call the hospital. Another task was to post a reel today and to make my client a program. Definitely enough time in the day to do all of those things. But if I were to write down all of the things I need to do now that we just moved back home and put them all on my to-do list today, there's no way I would've got to all of them and then it just becomes a little bit overwhelming. So something that helps me to get back into my routine is to kind of schedule out my day, time block. In the morning I'm gonna do these tasks, in the afternoon I'm gonna do these, and in the evening I'll do these and make sure that they are realistic. And this really helps me to not feel overwhelmed, but to also be productive and have a successful day. And this really helps me to get back into a good productive routine. All right, we are gonna cook some dinner and then I will share with you guys one more helpful tip, creating healthy habits and getting back into a healthy routine.
friends. We have just finished cleaning the kitchen. If you guys see my amazing yellow dishwashing gloves right there, that has been one of the greatest purchases. I highly recommend. They were like $3 at Walmart, but my hands get so dry from like washing the dishes, normal washing my hands, um, doing cleaning around the house, like all those things. And they just get like, I can't maintain them during this time, especially when it's like windy and cold outside. So those have been a lifesaver, but that is way besides the point. We need to share tip number five on how to create more healthy habits and get yourself back into a good, healthy routine. This one might sound a little bit cheesy, but I am a firm believer. So just roll with me, but that is to have some grace with yourself and take it easy on yourself. I am naturally one of those people that is like super hard on myself. I expect a lot of myself. I am very upset when I fail or mess up or take steps back, but realistically and something that I really need to learn is that that is a part of life. Um, that is how you grow. There are different stages of life. So there's gonna be ups and downs. A fitness journey specifically and a health journey is, is not a linear upright climb. There's gonna be ups and downs. Now the goal is for an overall positive flow and that is typically what happens. But times when you move, times when you go on vacation, times when your routine changes, you might be taking a few steps back. Like I talked about today, I did not feel great when I was doing my workout in the gym, but we pushed through, we made it through, and I know in a few weeks it's gonna be much better. So when you wanna get back into that routine, have a little bit of grace with yourself. It's not the easiest of things, and building your routine takes time. That's something I've also had to learn. Why? Because you're building healthy habits, and building habits takes time and repetition. It's not just gonna happen once, otherwise that's not a habit. So as you're building your new healthy routine, give yourself a little bit of grace. I hope this has been helpful. I feel like this is a little bit of a sporadic vlog, but today has been a little bit of a sporadic day considering I spent two hours on the phone with New York Tolls. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this overall. If you do like these kind of vlogs, where I'm kind of taking you along with my day but giving you guys some info, some tips, let me know by giving this a thumbs up. That lets me know you guys like these videos so I can create more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Not only does it support me a ton, but then you guys won't miss any new videos and they do come out every single Monday. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Have the best day. Bye.